Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing about materials involved in paint production. This guy, and the first material today on our list is PVA, which is also known as binder. This is a chemical that binds all the other components of paint products, of paint production together and makes it possible for it to stick to the wall or to the surface where the paints are going to be applied on. And there are many examples of um, binders. We have the castor oil, the fish oil, the soya beans oil, the pancane oil. All these are examples of natural resin. We also have the acute resin, the epoxy, the PVC resin, the acrylic resin. All these are examples of synthetic resin and synthetic binders. Another very most important material used in paint production are the solvents. The solvents are, are chemicals or materials used in mixing all the paint components together. In emotion-based paints, we have the water as a solvent. Then, the solvents that are used in mixing oil-based paints are kerosene, white spirit, diesel, fuel, etc. We also have extenders. Extenders are chemicals that are added into paint to give body to the paint. And to serve uh, and to also serve as fillers, to also help in the production, to increase in the quantity of production. Examples of extenders are calcium carbonate, kaolin, mica, silica, and we also have many of them that I might not be able to mention all today. Other material added in paint production are the dryers. These are catalysts that carry air or oxygen into the oil-based paint make it possible for the oil-based paint to dry. Examples of dryer are cerulean, calcium, manganese, zinc, etc. Next thing we have on our list is genopore, which is also known as emulsifier. This is a chemical that brings all the components of paint or all the components involved in the paint production together to form one unit, to form one solid unit. Emulsifier are zinc dryers, sodium, Lacertine, Cal Cal, Genopol, etc. Another chemical we have on our list are the thickeners. These are chemicals that are added into paint to make the end result of our production to be thickened. They also make it possible for paint to hold onto brush and move towards the surface without dropping. The examples of um, thickener are CMC, HCM, Natural Soul, Easy Gel, Benton, Econo Gel. Then we have the plasticizer. The plasticizer are chemicals that are added into paint production or paint formulation to help the to help during the application and to also help prevent cracks. It makes it possible for the roller or the brush to move, move freely or easily during paint application. Examples of um, plasticizer are DOP, STPP, carbon PT, etc. etc. Then we have the biocide. Biocides are chemical added into paint production to help kill microorganisms such as midwheel fungi, bacteria. It also helps to prevent the paint from decay and decaying from microorganisms. Examples of biocide are copper sulfate, acticide, anticide, and formalin. Now we bring us to the former. The former are chemicals that are added into paint, for paint production to reduce or stop it from foaming due to the addition of genopore or emulsifier. And an example of the former is silicon oil. The next is aluminium silicate. This is a chemical added into paint formulation or paint product to make the paint look brighter. We, we also have color preservatives, and color preservatives are chemicals added into paint to help or to preserve the color from fading away quickly. And an example of color preservative is sodium benzoate. 
Thank you guys for sticking with us today to the end of the video. Please like this video, share, comment, and if you have any or if you have any question, please put it on the comment below. Thank you very much and see you guys later.